In this video, we're going to take a look at two very specific drones that hit a very specific price point of $200. This is the brand new DJI Neo. We just featured it on the channel. We've been having fun with it. It is a very cool little gimmicky, but somewhat useful drone. And in this hand, we have a $190 drone that I think has a ton of potential to absolutely blast the DJI Neo out of the water. It's kind of like comparing Nike to Walmart. My Walmart shoes still are shoes and get the job done extremely well. They do, don't they? They're work shoes and then some. And then you can pay more for Nike and that's okay too. But in the grand scheme of this video, we're gonna compare these pretty directly and talk about the pros and cons of each. We're not saying that this is a perfect drone, but I am gonna tell you because I've recently tested both of these on the channel, if you just need to cut right to the chase and you're just trying to decide which one to buy, I promise you, you're getting so much more bang for your buck out of this drone than the DJI Neo. But it does offer a few features that this one doesn't offer. And we're gonna talk about all that in this video. But the most important thing to remember is that both of these are linked in the description box below. And in order to get the price point at 194 this, we have a custom coupon code just for our subscribers. It's usually 250, but it is on sale with our link and coupon code in the description box and pinned comment that makes it 190. And for reassurance, if you're new to our channel, we've tested nearly 1,100 drones through the years. We kind of sort of know what we're doing, and we've had almost every DJI drone on the channel too. So without further ado, let's get right to it. What do you get when you buy the DJI Neo? Well, when you pull this out of the box, that's it. $200, this is what you get. You also get a charge cable to charge the Neo, but that is what you get. This is what you get with the Holy Stone drone that we are talking about specifically. And this is actually their newest version of this model that just came out about a month ago. So the case alone, if you were going to buy a case for the DJI Neo, is somewhere, I looked it up before we got out here, somewhere between 20 and $30 for a very nice case, very similar to this. So now you're up to 230 on that, and you're still at 190 on this. You do get a controller too. And this is the big standout difference between both of these drones. I'll also the functionality of the drones themselves, but we're gonna talk about in uh, that in the video. So this transmitter, if you had a similar equivalent transmitter for the DJI Neo, would run you an extra 130. So now, between the case and the controller, you're already <laughs> about double the price for the Neo compared to this. One more thing, then we jump these in the air because the big thing that most people are gonna care about is camera quality, range, and flight time. So because we have this hardwired on the new transmitter of this Holystone model, we're gonna definitely get a stronger signal and better range. The Neo connects to your phone through Wi-Fi tech on your phone. We experienced it in our maiden flight, though the camera quality is good and we got really nice stable shots. The range was like, like 30 meters and it started losing Wi-Fi signal. That's not far at all. This one we pushed out to 600 feet in our first maiden and we still had strong signal quality. They boast a 20,000 feet range. I don't know if we'll actually hit that but we'll test it a little bit in today's video. Also the Neo gets about a eight or nine minute flight time. That's not great. <laughs> this boasts, I think it says something like 25 minutes for one battery. We have not pushed either one to their full limits yet, but that is definitely at least double the flight time. Camera quality, I've heard both from our viewers. I'll let you guys be the judge. So let's put them in the air and compare the camera quality. Okay, we're recording on the Holy Stone and let's do a takeoff. Here we go. Oh. oh, oh, I forgot a really big one. This one does have visual position hold, but here we go, Abby. It also has a GPS. That is massively difference, a big difference in the two uh, technologies of the drone, where the small DJI Neo only has a visual position hold and you know visual tracking. This one actually has return to home functionality, tracking, waypoints, all that good stuff. So, um, are you recording? Yes, I am recording on this. Okay. And I want to give, I want to give the best like perspective possible. So Abby, if you could, I'm going to like. If you want to do it at the same time. I, do. I can just set my camera down to pick up the mic and I, I can fly this drone and you can fly that drone. I got it. Here's the beauty of this, right? <laughs> so we can just, there you got it. I will hold this. Well, 
They're both under 250 grams too, so that's also I don't important. Know. Okay, we ready? You ready? So as soon as this is on, here's now another thing that I I like. You can't just record the whole time, right? It's only... no, it's all well. I can with the with this one mode tracking okay. mode. So what I do like about this is now that it's been activated, I don't have a phone or a controller to fly this. Uh, I can just I do like hold that this. a lot. Only having to remember one thing. Yes. That's pretty nice. So it's going to track me and record. So Abby's going to fly the uh, fly. Holy Stone over here. Get it a little closer to me so we can actually compare the cameras side by side, which is kind of the point. Or use the Holy Stone drone and get a shot of the Neo. Why don't you do that? <laughs> there you go. This is so unorthodox. We don't normally do this at all. But we've got a couple drones in the air. Let's just get a shot of that. That's really cool. Both of our drones. There's the Neo. There's the Holy Stone drone. I am piloting the Neo. Sort of, right? You're piloting yourself. And Abby is on the Holy Stone drone. So, uh, <laughs> There you go, that's a great direct comparison of the camera quality. Okay, now isn't that a cool shot with that little Neo floating there? I want the Neo to follow me and I want you to follow me uh, with the controls, you got it? So I want people to see a little bit of movement. This one does have fairly good visual stabilization where the uh, Holy Stone isn't quite as solid but when it is hovering, it's beautiful. So here we go. Don't bring it right into my drone. No, I know. <clears throat> There we go. So the Neo is going to follow me, and the Holy Stone drone does have tracking abilities too, but uh, right now Abby's at the controls manually where the Neo is just following me. <laughs> Push forward, Abby, come on, get a little closer. There we go. She needs to fly more. Really, the main point of what we're doing right now is to show you guys camera quality, visual difference, just a little bit of movement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> what are you doing, Abby? Well, let's trade, okay? Let's trade. Because remember, the Neo flies itself. There's literally no controlling it, so it's totally fine. I it's can hold the camera. Itself. That's all I'm good there, at. Uh, there. Now you are actually flying the Neo right now, and I'm flying. Will it follow me though? Because I thought it decided. See if it'll see if it'll follow you. Now. No. no, it loves you. Now we can reset that, and it'll follow you. I, I don't have makeup on. <laughs> You're in the shot. Here, you hold it. There, now Abby's the official drone pilot for that one. <laughs> okay, now what do All I right, do? Now you walk around. Okay. And I'm going to follow is... you with this drone. You got it. You, Are walk, you walking? Just walk. Just walk. You got to hold this. You just walk. Well, just I'm walk. not good at narrating. <laughs> I'm going to oh, walk. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe add some cool music here, Nate. Go. <laughs> They're both on it. Who are you talking to? I have the mic. <laughs> no, With the sound of <laughs> Neo close range selfie, very kind of, I would say gimmicky, but what you're seeing is a very nice shot, looks good, colors are great, but so is the Holy Stone drone. Now here's the cool thing, the Holy Stone drone, the battery hasn't even dropped down a single notch on it yet. This guy, we're already halfway through that battery life. So let's just do a little bit of a range test while we're hanging out here with the Neo and we'll see how far this Holy Stone drone can go. I have nice telemetry letting me know how far away I am too. And for everybody's ears, let's just land <laughs> the Neo while we're out getting a good shot of the Holy Stone drone. The Neo has very limited range. I just kind of want to show everybody what the Holy Stone drone can do. Because we're in an open field and we are on private property and I have a very nice visual of the drone so i just want to give it a good test remember we brought it out 600 feet at a fire tower to those of you that watched that video i'm going to turn off the dji drone 
while I'm flying this. And let's see. <clears throat> okay, it did stop recording. So I think after a certain period of time it does that because it did that on our first flight too. And I'm just gonna keep pushing this out. I will show you guys once I get it out here about, about where I feel comfortable. I've already pushed past that 600 foot range and I still have a nice feed. It did stop recording again though, so it could just be a range thing where it's telling it to stop recording. So there we go, we're back. It does cut out after about 600 feet or so, but I'm gonna probably push it to where I feel comfortable is maybe about a thousand feet. Let's see, because I can still see the drone, but just barely. I see that little dot in the sky. I can see it just fine. Abby's kind of shaking her head. I think she lost it. But if you look, look, show everybody the camera here. Show them. Show them the feed. It's a beautiful we shot. We can see these cars driving by down there. We have a nice actual live feed of what's happening. So, you know, we can rotate the drone back and around and we still have a nice solid feed, but at a thousand feet, I can't really see orientation anymore and I don't want to lose the drone. So we're, we're just going to start flying back toward us now. There we go, nice solid feed. I'm just kind of giving a little bit of yaw back to get it straight on with us. Beautiful evening to be flying this on. Just we have a sunset, the fall colors are kicking in. The one thing the Holy Stone drone is lacking compared to the DJI drone is an actual gimbal. It does have digital image stabilization, uh, but as you can see, when we're actually flying the drone around and moving it rapidly, it's not as smooth as that DJI because of that gimbal. So if the DJI was going to win in any area, it's the fact that it has a gimbal. But in my opinion, the Holy Stone drone has so much more going for it than the DJI. It is a massive, massive win. Uh, <laughs> it's a really solid drone, especially the photo camera. So what I'll do is show a couple shots that we got earlier comparing the two so you guys can see the actual photo quality too. Let's go ahead and land the Holy Stone drone. Hopefully you guys have watched our full length videos of both of these drones because we really focus uh, heavily just on the Neo in that video and we focus very heavily on just the Holy Stone in that video too. So if you want to see more of each, we'll have videos on our channel that you can check out. But this is a video to compare them fairly directly. I wanted you guys to see visually how much stuff you get with the Holy Stone drone versus the DJI. Remember, we have purchased almost every single DJI drone in existence since day one, since the Phantoms and the Sparks and all the way back to the very beginning. We even had the first Inspire. Uh, one of the only drones we don't have by them now is the new Inspire because it's $16,000, which is crazy. I'm but not doing that. No, uh, this Neo, you know, I'm glad we have it because it's going to be a fun little toy to mess around with the kids. They're going to have fun doing these little blast off modes and stuff. But if you want a more traditional drone that really just gives you way more bang for your buck, this Holy Stone drone that'll be linked in the description box below is where it's at. And just because of our coupon code, it gets it in actually cheaper than the DJI Neo. It's funny because off camera, Abby, my wife was asking, which one has the gimbal? Because she watched the video of this one and she's like, eh, it could be a lot better. And when she watched the fire tower video of this one, she and I were both impressed. I didn't talk about it in this video and I should have, I'll mention it, but the camera can be tilted up and down on this drone. It just doesn't have a stabilized motorized gimbal. It's all digital electronic image stabilization. But again, they both have visual aid, visual position hold on the bottom. Uh, uh, but this one has a uh, GPS to return to home. Is one, coyotes? Could be. 
ready to go. Sounds like it. One more final thing to know is this one does have an internal storage built into it. I can't remember the total. It's like 32 gigs or less. I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head. This one has a slot for a micro SD card. So while it doesn't come with any internal storage, it does give you the option to upgrade to a lot bigger if you want to. So that, that is one thing the Neo does have over this built-in storage, but it is limited on size. It fills up very quickly. This one gives you the option for more, but it doesn't come with one. So uh, there you have both drones, in my opinion. Again, if it wasn't clear enough, Holystone wins, but this one does have a few fun, different gimmicks that just set it apart from the competition, from every other drone out there, really, except for the eight-year-old Cicada. I wanna say a massive thanks to God for blessing us with this opportunity to share this experience, this video, this moment in front of the camera with you. Very thankful and grateful for the day in general, and I huge thanks to God for that. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. If you want to see either one of these videos, I highly encourage you to check them out. We'll have one of them popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.